Hey guys, John here, Colorado Custom Covers and Decks. Just want to go over today uh, about how to build your deck around the cantilever of the house. So per code, you cannot attach the cantilever of the house anymore. And there are a couple ways you can get around that uh, to be able to still build your deck, even if you have a uh, cantilever of the house, kind of like what we have here. So what I mean by cantilever is, so here's your foundation of your of your house. Most of the time, your house is built parallel with that. Okay, so with the cantilever, we come in over the house, and out here we come over, have an angle, come, and then come back. So that's what I mean. We're cantilevering past the foundation, past that main structure of your house. And so now for the code is, you can't attach to that anymore. So there are two ways you can get around it. One, you can have an engineer come and draw it up, stamp it, and approve it. Our engineer, uh, he's on the board building, the same as that deck, the same as that size, and it was already attached to the cantilever. He's all right with us going through and going ahead and attach that cantilever. So that's right up right and get it stamped so we can get it to the city and approve for our permits. So another way you can go if you don't want to go the engineer route is uh, putting the beam in. So you can see here we got this beam coming all the way through. And you can see it's posted down to the foundation, okay? And so it goes through the it goes through the house and then it's actually sitting on the foundation there. I mean we got it pretty tight now so you can't really see it as well. But so that's posted down there, and so now that's structural going all the way down to that foundation. And so with uh, obviously with a ground level deck or even a, a garden level deck, it's pretty easy to do. Once you start getting into walkouts, you really got to take a lot of siding out, and it's a lot of work to do. But if you plan for it and budget for it and price it out properly, you'd be able to do it and get away without having to do an engineer letter on it. Um, sometimes it depends; it might be cheaper to have an engineer write the letter and do that so that's kind of you gotta do a little research on there but anyways we got this beam coming out here sitting on our main beam for the deck over there and then we're going to come across square off here in front of this cantilever and then this is sitting on a caisson over here to carry that load right so now we got a, a, a beam coming here and then we got a triple beam coming out here and now this is our main structure to carry that load and we just got a, a uh, a nailer board, a ledger, but it's it's not a structural ledger, just a nail board for a decking to go into. So that's how uh, two different ways you can go to get around the cantilever of a house to be able to still build your deck. The same applies to a roof as well. So a lot of times, second floor will have a can like this house here. All actually has a cantilever of the second floor, and so if you wanted to build a uh, a roof up there, you wouldn't be able to without putting other posts down or putting beams down, we can't just attack, attach to it. There are ways we can get around it, but we can't attach to that and make that the structure holding up that roof. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope these videos help. Give us a like, give us a share. Tell us about your friends. We really appreciate that. All that helps. Check out our Instagram, Facebook, and obviously YouTube. Until next time.